What's up, everybody? It's Mike Versal. Hope you're doing splendidly well. You know, on a weekly basis, I wanted to inspire you a little bit for better weeks ahead. Try and discuss the things that are going on to motivate you and to remain positive. You know, today, I wanted to address the infamous COVID-19 and why you stay at home locked up and isolated by yourself or with your loved ones or acquaintances to find that courage, you know, that motivation at a time like this is tremendously difficult and challenging, you know. But um, so every week, I'll try and bring humanity together, you know, just by spreading a bit of positivity, talk about life, sometimes things we've all seen, what we've gone through, you know, but most importantly, what we can do for a better week ahead and to remain positive. You know, so thanks for listening in. So, you know, we've all heard the term coronavirus, and we've all certainly learned the term COVID-19 that's rocked the society into lockdown. Well, it's, it's a virus, you know, a virus like many others, Nope, it's a virus that's extremely complex and risky and has put all of our lives in danger and hold. That's how serious it is. But what it has also taught us is human beings, no matter what we say or how much we may dislike each other at times, deep down, we truly care and have love for one another. That's why we're all you know, fighting in, in, you know, in a time like this. You know, the larger majority of people have respected the rules so much and stayed indoors in our homes. You know, and kept our distance because we truly care for each other. You know, even when the chips are down, we're still trying our best. You know, if, you know, you notice when you go to a supermarket or to a store, you know, you have people moving out of the way, obeying the rules, or saying excuse me, or smiling, you know, as they make way for you. you know, not everyone, but the majority of people are trying their best to help. That's a beautiful thing. To see humanity doing this is something that should keep you happy and should be keeping you positive as well. You know, obviously, it's the fact we miss our families, we miss our friends, we miss going to work. And, you know, even children as young as two years old telling, you know, grown-ups, you know, I miss my friends. How touching, you know, it's testing us and bringing out emotions in us we never thought we, we actually had. You know, feelings that we never knew that we could actually, you know, portray or, or bring out. You know, it has allowed us to stop for a minute and reflect. Think about the things we've done in the past, the way we can change and certainly how we can actually really make the world a better place by uniting, even though we're social, social distancing, you know, virtual connections have brought us together closer. So it's something that's actually beautiful to see. But what I want us to do is to focus, you know, on the positives, you know, not to get into the grief, you know, the sadness, the pain that has all caused our family and friends, you know, which is so devastating. But at least just for today, just for a few minutes, just think about positive things. And if you can stick with me and join me, let's look at our feelings and, you know, how we need to come together on a virtual basis to love one another and more and just to remain positive moving forward. You know, if you remember the past, do you ever recall what it was like before we were all in the situation? Probably not because it just feels like it was so long ago, yet it was just felt like it was yesterday. At the same time, you're not sure how you're feeling, you know? Do you remember when it was like just to hop out of any restaurant or bar hopping, whenever you felt like we were spoke for choice? Get on a plane the next day to El Gavre to Portugal or the Maldives and sip a few exotic sunny drinks at the beach anywhere. It feels like yesterday, yet it feels like it was a million years ago, like I said, so it's a strange feeling. You know, what about putting live football on telly, you know, or watching live car shows showing off Bentleys? You know, what about real time Hollywood movies? or playing pool in the pub and schooling newbies? What about all the tickets to live music concerts or watching NBA Live and watching dunk, dunking contests? You know, now, for some of us, we, we hate it so much, we just wanna go back into life. Some of you like it because you like your own company staying indoors. Whatever the feeling is, we all should make peace with it and just trust the process and trust our own interesting feelings. Don't let the neg negativity come up too much. Try and be positive at all times. You know, it will all work itself out, you know, and remember this. This is something I wanted to leave you, you know, a small quote I was working on. I thought you might think that, you know, this is something that is, is going to happen again. Maybe, maybe not. But whatever you're feeling, take this as a unique opportunity. When are you ever going to be in a position where you're really locked in and stuck in with your family and friends? If you if you were given the option you obviously go out. You wouldn't do this. You'd just be like, well, it's time to go out because I'm allowed to. But for the meantime, 
we're forced to stay in. So the joy in it is making it work. Because the quote is, having a choice to splurge happiness is limited. To be forced to splurge happiness is gifted. It's unlimited. So this is the point here. Because you don't have a choice, make it work. That's a beautiful thing. And I'm a true believer, everything happens for a reason. So the positive in, the positivity in me is showing me that everything's going to work out well. And I want it to be the same for you. Okay? And before I leave, I wanted to tell you something I wrote. So the coronavirus, what is it you really want? You got us living in fear. You're just trying to haunt. Our life, our kids, our jobs are now in disarray. Even non-religious people starting to pray. Now my kid's stuck at home 24-7. I'm not a certified teacher. I can't teach a lesson. Society was already distancing themselves before. I watch the news and every time it makes me feel sore. What about the poor? How they survive this pandemic? I see the pictures of the slums and it gives me a headache. I said it. You need to give us a break tomorrow. Not everyone likes losing life and being in sorrow. Stop it. Go away. Won't you go today? Not even funny anymore. I just want to say, you're evil and you're trying to damage society for all, but we'll overcome you if we stand together and talk. So remember, stay positive at all times and it'll all work itself out. So join me on my podcast, Unify Diaries. You can find it on Spotify, you can find it on Apple, you can find it on uh, other platforms everywhere. You know, you can follow me um, on Instagram at Mike Verso and make sure you click to subscribe and to get notified that every third every thursday you check my podcast podcast out on um, the platforms but also we can discuss society and things that are really going on to inspire everyone for better days ahead to stay positive so i'm mike Persil. i would like to thank you and i'd like to tell you peace <laughs>